We continue the comparison of a high ISO performance of the new Sony i99 II. This time the challenger is Nikon D5, the flagship camera with the impressive specification. Um, ISO uh, native up to under 2000. Uh, Sony i99 II has a uh, double of the megapixel and uh, uh, a price point which is half of the Nikon. You may think I'm crazy to compare this absolutely top performer from Nikon with the i99 II, uh, but let's see what uh, results show. The first comparison is uh, we are talking 25 1600 for both uh, pictures here and downscaling for the A99. Um, same first um, impression here from a magnification one to one. Um, you see just a bit more granules, a bit more noise in the Sony. Um, if we increase the ratio to two to one, um, this is a bit more evident, but we also start to appreciate the greater level of detail preserved by the Sony, which indicates that with a proper professional uh, noise reduction software, the differences should be minimized. Um, again, you can read very well the label on Sony, not so well on the Nikon, but the color of the bottle, brownish, and uh, the reds of the label here uh, is uh, more noisy um, uh, visibly in the Sony. The color palette here um, shows a, again a difference, but um, the noise in the Sony seems to be more regular, more ordered. Uh, if you exclude the brown and dark color, the edges of these colors are uh, uh, better defined. Same here for the bottle text, uh, extremely clear and readable uh, for Sony uh, in its finest detail. Look at um, the small red text here, uh, yes, no match, Sony wins. Looking at the most detailed and contrasted part of the image, once again, 25,000, you can read the Sony uh, the text on the Sony, but you can't on the Nikon. We are 4 to 1, 3 to 1, 1 to 1 now, magnification. Um, the little brush here, um, 8 to 1 magnification, of course, highlights a different noise level, uh, but if you reduce to 2 to 1, you can almost distinguish the single fibers uh, in the Sony, but not in the Nikon anymore. Um, this uh, uh, very colored part of the image full of details um, confirm all what we saw today. And once again, um, the texture of the tissues, particularly the green and here also the pink and red uh, is better appreciated on the Sony by far. If you look at the dark profile of the bottle here, uh, more granules in the Sony that should be possibly better corrected by uh, uh, adequate post-production software. Yeah, again, focus on the tissues is a win for Sony. The blue in the Nikon is completely washed out. Different colors, lighter colors for the tissues and uh, uh, details, once again, better preserved. Better defined image also on the colored pencils and on the metal objects for the Sony. Um, yes, the granules continue to be more visible and more distinct in the Sony picture versus the Nike. With um, ISO 12800, uh, of course, to compare Apple to Apple, we also had to reduce the size of uh, the i99-2 file uh, down to 5,500 uh, times 3,700 um, um, sites. Um, the pictures, uh, if you can, as you can see here, have been taken at uh, f8. Now, if we start comparing 
the reference picture uh, left A99 shows some more noise uh, also at uh, one to one magnification. Uh, this is visible in the dark area of uh, uh, the bottle, for example, as well in the, the yellowish uh, color of the olive oil bottle. Um, yeah, the green is clearly more visible in T99, uh, but also the D5 is not uh, noise free. Looking at the tissues structure, you can appreciate a far greater level of detail for the A99 and the same for the fine details of the picture of the bottle. Uh, all the details of these men um, uh, playing with violin are by far more defined in the A992 picture. The colors are less noisy in the Nikon, but uh, once again, they are losing quite a bit of detail. Uh, grain difference is visible in the gray and in the black, uh, let's say in general in the darker color, while the white retains better um, coloration. The metal object shown here in the center of the picture is also better defined in the N99. And uh, once again, the tissue and the fine details of uh, the tissues in the background, the red one, the orange one uh, in particular, and now the pink one is far, far better preserved in the A99 too. Uh, the green tissue is dramatic in showing differences in favor of uh, A99 too with regard to detail, uh, while the noise on this uh, comparison here for those details is not different. Um, once again, back to one-to-one -one magnification, you can appreciate more grain in the A99-2 versus the D5. Um, you can see on the gray background wall. But the fine details of these bottle label has no comparison uh, uh, versus D5, so a, the Sony is way better. Um, also, the text and uh, the fine detail of the product here at Magnification 3 to 1 is a win for Sony. Looking at um, another part of the picture full of fine details, um, you can see that um, the Sony one, apart from a difference in column balance, is more easily readable. This fine text here is fully readable in Sony while it's completely unreadable with uh, the Nikon. Um, so the fine fibers show the same difference, a far greater uh, detail preserved, uh, but a bit more noisy in the dark areas in the background. Uh, but you could almost appreciate all the details of the fine fibers. Don't forget that we are at a magnification of 3.1. Um, yeah, you see also the uh, wooden bar on the back, uh, more granules in the Sony bed detail lost for Nikon. As a last comparison, we are now comparing 12,800 ISO for Sony versus 25,600 for Nikon. Um, yes, is an unfair comparison, but uh, just to show the differences are now in favor of Sony uh, across all image. Even the critical uh, color palette uh, is uh, uh, much better on the Sony, lower noise, better definition. Here is the yellowish bottle of oil, um, which is uh, much better represented on the Sony. Um, the tissues details much better preserved as well as noise on the Sony versus the Nikon. Looking in the dark detail of the bottle, uh, again a win for Sony. Colored pencils, no comparison. Sony is way ahead, uh, both in noise and in definition contrast. So what can we conclude here? 
uh, we conclude that we have several advantages for the Sony A99 versus its light benefit on ISO uh, for the Nikon. You can see I was not crazy to compare those two cameras and uh, this comparison clearly indicates a winner in my opinion which is Sony.